What up guys, LD Motor back with you. Today we're back on Mini Digger. Trevor hooks us up with some new parts. Thank you guys. Because we need them parts. I was being kind of cheap ever since I got that motor. But let's check out what he got for it. I got a new chain. Yes, a new been chain. I've waiting on this one. <laughs> I had to figure out the right size of chain. Like We went through what? Three or four different chains before you Yes, people right have been looking for these too. Can you send me a link for this? Because people have been looking for these. They've been asking about these. Yes, it's a T8F chain. T8F. Yes. All right, guys. We'll try and have a link in the description for that for you too. Because I almost forgot you guys have been asking about that. And... Got a new throttle cable for it. Because last time we had a little bit of an issue with uh, the throttle being this. Yeah. And we'll put that clip in right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he give it full throttle on accident? Hit the car. <laughs> like Please. I'll Alright, yeah, see now you guys know why we have to put this on there. Yeah, it'd be a little bit easier to figure out this is the throttle and this possibly being a brake. Yeah, Liam told me right away, he was like, I don't like that. I thought it was a brake. Guys, today we're gonna try and get done the chain. Uh, throttle cable. Probably wire up the new kill switch, or we're gonna hang on to this for now. Uh, I think we can wire up the new one. Right on. So that's not gonna be too bad. But the biggest thing you're gonna try and get done today is moving the motor forward. Yes. We're trying to get more weight to the front, so we don't have to have that. And we don't need a wheelie bar. Hopefully, we can just change that up a little bit. Oh dang! I didn't realize that chain really dug into the back of that gearbox. Oh dang. yeah. Dang. But yeah, that's what we're gonna try and get done today. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get some going on this thing. We'll catch up to you guys in a little bit when we're ready to move on. <laughs> Alrighty guys, little change of plans. We're not gonna move the motor because the amount of work to move it that far is probably not gonna make that much balance difference. So we're gonna try and just do it this way for now because it works. And eventually when we try to do like a suspension upgrade, like full change up, new, new frame, everything, then we'll do it different like we were saying before this is step one yeah yeah we'll refine it a little better next time so he's gonna we're gonna use the old chain for now just to test everything out because he's still got this brand new chain but he's got two master links and that was the biggest thing with this chain last time was the master link because i put it on incorrectly and this chain is twisted a tiny bit but guys we got a filter for it the old cut off of the syx because yeah, I got a new one for that, so when we get to that, we shouldn't have to worry. But just getting that fuel drained out. Yeah, we're not going to move the motor. The, the, the amount of work to move it is just not worth it. And It's not going to make that much Yeah, it's difference. not going to make that much of a difference. But we're going to take this thing for a ride today for sure. In probably more than five minutes without a tire falling off or a chain snapping. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, a full test ride. Then, well, after that, it'll probably be an episode of, like, final welding, maybe. Some clean it up and getting a uh, paint on it. Because I see fingerprints are rusted. Right here. Should we put the filter that one uh, Yeah, that'll probably be at a low spot. Would probably be a good spot because stuff can settle at that point. I think it'd be a better... Good thinking. That was actually the vent off the SYX, but it's going to get a lot of new stuff when we get to there. I don't think it matters the direction because that screen is like super like let particles through. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're going to get this filter stuff set up and I'll show you how that turned out here in a few minutes. Because I think it's going to take some cramming to get that thing in there. Oh yeah, we might have to take the line off the tank. Yeah. Check it out. Finally, something with a fuel filter and a fuel cutoff. We're doing big things, Trevor. Right. <laughs> hey, whatever, at least we get them on there eventually. So yeah, uh, next step is, we can actually dry it? I think we probably need to get the brakes for sure. Oh, I was gonna ask you, do you think this throttle cable will work with that new throttle handle? Or should we just change the whole, cause this is a pain in the butt. Um, this one is, <laughs> it's a pain. It might work, we can try it. If not, then we got that cable, whatever you think. Cause this is, there's a lot of slack in this, so that extra piece might be, you know, yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alright, we'll get back with you guys once we figure this thing out. Alrighty guys, 
Got the throttle cable on, got the filter, the shutoff. Let's see. Let push this down, see if everything works. Oh yeah. Nice. An actual it works properly. It's not all ghetto rigged. It actually works right. No added little extension, stupid spacers or anything. So we're gonna get that thing figured out, but we're gonna take the tire off. We're gonna cut this brake pad off. We're gonna realign it so it actually contacts the tire. So it actually works. Um yeah. Yeah, you took my wrench. And then if that works, we're probably going to get the uh, kill switch rewired into this so it's mounted. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to go for a test ride after that. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Alrighty, guys. We'll catch back up with you in just a little bit. We're going to finalize a few more things and hopefully go for a ride. Alright, guys. Got the brakes fixed up just a little bit. Sure. It should do the job. Trevor's going to go take it for a rip. And let's see how this thing performs. And uh, if it works good, we're gonna probably call that a video and we'll get back to it later. All right, go hit this thing. It's got the new kill switch, new throttle cable, new throttle. Oh, yeah, it did. I didn't even see it hit the kill switch. How well did it It worked good. I thought that was the issue at first when we were first trying to start it, but it wasn't. It was just didn't have fuel yet. I think hard turns are going to make it an issue because it's a solid axle. Easy! Whoa, way too hard! <laughs> yeah. Don't go balls out right away. Yeah. You want the pad? Go get that pad, Liam. Go get that flat blue pad. You gonna ride that bad boy? You'll figure it out. No wheelies. Let's hope all the wheels stay on. We got a brand new chain. This is still the old one. It doesn't go too fast, which is a good thing. So it's got power. It moves. Right on. Yeah, I'm a little scared to get a lot to the throttle. If you feel safe, do it. If you feel safe enough to try it, go a little faster. <laughs> oh, it's that's good. We don't want it fast. Film. Start it up. Hi, Leland. You gonna guide? You gonna guide it? You want? Uh 